podcast. I'm Jesse, aka the Movement. That's Rick, aka Captain Grey Lord. I'm the gamer. He's the Grouch. Today was the week of the solar eclipse. Did you even take a look at it? No, I didn't want to go blind. <laughs> you didn't want to go blind. You, you yeah, didn't... I need special glasses. Well, yeah, you, you shouldn't make it a habit of looking at the sun even without the eclipse. They tell you if you go like this, and to both of your eyes, like your Catwoman or something. You won't go blind. I'm you pretty won't sh- go blind. I'm pretty you sure you dance. I'm pretty sure you, go you like still this. go blind. Hey, you go like this. Hey, man. Hey. <laughs> no, man. No, stop. Okay, so <laughs> the solar eclipse. It happened. Let's take a look at this video here. To show it off. I can't see it. Can't see it. Yeah, it's real small. Oh. Whoa! But this is really good because those are beautiful prominences. Those oh my explosions God. on the Oh my God! And it, it would last uh, that total eclipse for about two and a half minutes. Ain't we there, supposed to get blind right. if we're looking at it right and now? As it moves, the as moon moves, <laughs> no, because the video. Subtle changes. In, so what's the, the difference of a video of looking at it? Sort of, uh, with the light the difference is <laughs> really, old man. You don't know the difference. Nope. As to the difference between watching the solar eclipse through the video as to real life, why it would why it would burn your retinas if you saw it in real life versus seeing it through a video. Are you seriously so, asking that question? So technically, if a person looks at the sun directly for a few seconds, you'll go blind. <laughs> yes, if you stare at the sun, what will happen is the back of your retinas will start literally burning, and then when you look away, you're gonna see all these colors and weird shit. Because so, your eyes will get all fucked up. So when the moon is in front of the sun and you're looking at it, you go blind anyways, even even though though the moon is in front of it. What? No. When in the in totality, no, your eyes won't get fucked up. But if you're looking at it during any other phase, yes, it will fuck up your eyes. So in so, during totality, that's the only time that you can look at it directly. See, I didn't know that. But you don't, do you really not understand what the difference is? Yeah, it's the moon and the sun. The only thing that the moon is covering the sun. Whatever, man. You're like half (laughs) retarded. You're like half retarded. Anyways, that happened. Who gives a shit? I didn't really care. It's funny people. Who's all those people? There's people watching the eclipse. But I didn't really care about it. Why do people find that fascinating? uh, Because... They say you can't really see it all that much, but it actually happens every two years in a different part of the world. Because only, only in the United... It ha- this is the first time in, like, I think it's, like, 80 years that uh, an eclipse happened that you can see it from the United States. But in other what? parts... Yeah, it's been 80 I years. I've seen the eclipse a million times in the United States. N- not full eclipse. Not a full eclipse. You ain't had a fully eclipse. You don't understand how the how an eclipse works, do you? I've seen an eclipse lots of times here in Chicago. Yeah, what but not a not about? a full eclipse. So what are you trying to say that the other ones that I saw that the moon covered the sun, it wasn't an eclipse? Not a full. It didn't cover it fully. It only yes, covered it, it partially. No, it didn't. No, it did didn't. So? Oh my god. Look, last time full eclipse happened in the USA. The last solar eclipse viewed from Contagious, I don't know what that means. United States was on February 26, 1979, whose path passed through the northwestern U.S. states of Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, North Dakota, and Canadian provinces of Saskatchewan. Blah, blah, blah. After the August... The 2017 total solar eclipse, the next annular solar eclipse that can be seen in the continental U.S. will be October 14th, 2023. You didn't, oh, but these are these so the are ones full that I eclipse. Saw, they were not eclipses. I just they were not. Made them up. They were not full eclipses. I was. I was probably. I was probably he having a dream. He doesn't know. He doesn't understand. <laughs> you don't understand how eclipses work. You think. You think that. That it, that any time the moon goes in front of no, it's a full eclipse is different than a, just a partial eclipse. So a partial eclipse, what? It's when it looks like a like a what they call like those? half um, the sun or whatever. You can see it. What the hell is it called? A half moon? Kind of like that, yeah. 
So no, you didn't see a bunch of full eclipses in your life. Yes, I have. I'm, th oh, yeah. I'm 53 years old. So you've seen one other? No. You're in the 70s. 70 no. or whatever. Full eclipse. That's the last time you saw it. That's scientific fact, old man. We're not arguing over it. Man, I'm gonna have to call. I'm gonna have to call uh, NASA <coughs> and tell them, hey, you guys don't see the eclipse often, do you? Oh my God. But the fact of the matter is that a full eclipse happens every year, every two years. You just have to be in a different part of the world to see it because of the way the Earth s sits on it, on its axis. In any case, let's move on here. Antifa, the group they went up against those Nazis in Charlottesville, and a lot of violence happened. Here appears to be a small report about it by CNN, which is a little bit weird because CNN usually defends Antifa. To the lead, the national lead now, by most accounts, almost all of the people protesting against the hateful bigots, the Nazis and Klansmen in Charlottesville, I don't were peaceful, hear but Zero. Not I don't hear nothing. in their midst was a sometimes now I do. very violent group of protesters that call themselves Antifa, known to not only <coughs> clash with bigots, but also sometimes with police and occasionally storefronts. At least two journalists in Virginia were assaulted by violent counter-protesters over the weekend, including this cameraman from the Richmond CBS affiliate. CNN's Sarah Gannon now takes us inside Antifa and shows us this group like you've never seen it before. Antifa. It's 6 a.m. in Nazis. Portland, Oregon, and we're headed to a bar with blacked out windows. They wanted to meet us really early in the morning because they're concerned about a lot of people being around. We are meeting members of the Rose City Antifa, short for anti-fascist. This group's main goal is to disrupt neo-Nazis and white supremacists, but also take on government and capitalism. Antifa is any group that's willing to stand up against fascists by any means necessary. By any means necessary, they say, can mean outing a white nationalist at their work or to their neighbors. Or, as we've seen recently, violence, fires, property damage, hand-to-hand -hand combat at protests across the country. Explain to me the reasoning behind fighting. You have to make it so unpalatable to be doing white supremacist Fucking organizing fly. that they no longer want to do that. And historically, that's what's ass. worked. You have to put your body in the way and you have to make it speak in a language that they understand and sometimes that is violence. There's no firm number on how many Antifa activists there are in the U.S. because there isn't any one organization. Most are local groups that recruit and communicate through social media. But experts who <coughs> track these organizations say their membership is growing in response to the rise of white national groups and the election of President Donald Trump. First of all, they don't give a fuck about Nazis. Okay, Antifa is an anarchist group who all they want to push is anarchy. Okay, Antifa is just connecting themselves. Call, they call they changed their name from anarchi anarchists to Antifa because they wanted to make themselves more palatable to the average person. And what's the easiest way to make yourself more? Your your anarchist group that wants to destroy the U.S. government, destroy all capitalism, destroy all government. Other than saying, hey, we hate Nazis. We hate white supremacists. It's an easy way to make themselves more palatable. That's all they are. That's it. So technically, all that that's going on is terrorism. That's essentially what they're doing. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a terrorist group. And they actually there was actually a petition that got signed by 200,000 people telling Trump to make Antifa a terrorist group. It's officially see them as a terrorist group. Because they, they've been doing what they've been doing for years, just under different names. Like when Obama was elected, they marched against uh, Obama's election. And they fucking rioted and broke windows and, and lit trash cans on fire and shit like that. But so they were just in a different name. that are going against the Nazis, right? Yes, they're going up against the Nazis, but that's not Wouldn't what their main goal is. Wouldn't that make them racist as well? Wouldn't that make... I don't know about that. Well, yeah, think about it. Yes. Here comes the a old man is a person derailing the conversation. Hates, hates another group or another no, person. No, that's not. That has to do with any color or any kind of race. Uh, Don't make me uh, defend Antifa because you say dumb stuff. Antifa, uh, Antifa hating a hate group, okay, isn't racism because they're not hating on the person's skin color. They're hating on the group. There's a difference, okay? But wouldn't that be making that group? 
a uh, a religious uh, religious um, religious what are you trying to about? come up with the right word for it, man? I just can't think of it. Um, um, uh, do you know something? Forget about it. <laughs> just keep on going because I got something in my mind, but I just can't come up with it. And where? Of course you can't. I can't hear anything again. God damn it, you're going to start have that problem all the time. It's not, I don't have any control it. over it. Say they were wearing masks covered head to toe in black, a tactic the Antifa called Black Block. People dress in Black Block for a few things. One, Scott Crow has been leading anarchist and militant leftist groups for decades. So people put on the masks so that we can all become anonymous. And then therefore we are able to move more freely and do what we need to do, whether it is illegal or not. So some people yeah. will push back on that and say but that the black law is not, huh? to keep people from being identified and arrested when they break the law, when they commit crime. Damn right. It's a good way to avoid uh, the ramifications of law enforcement. <laughs> what a well, what a cunt. What a fucking cunt. So why is it all those people not arrested if they're committing? They should be. Illegal? They should be. And luckily there have been some people who are arrested. And not just that, but the police don't give a fuck about them. They're not gonna not go after them. And you know what? Let's skip to the good part. Let's skip to the good part. Why do they go through this shit just to get hurt? And look stupid on national TV or on YouTube or whatever. Why do they do that? It's just stupid. They think, here's my theory as to why the people do this. They think, there's come the time when you realize as a kid that you're not anything special, right? You're just another human being, right? Speak but these, for yourself. But these people, except for you, right? Special snowflake. Except for me. <laughs> the grouch is a special snowflake. Anyways. You better believe it. <laughs> um... These people nowadays, my generation and the generation before me, or Fuck after me, <laughs> bef or after me, they're they're like babies. They don't understand that the world is 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 not. They don't give a fuck about your individuality. They don't care about your ideas. They don't care about your political beliefs. The world is gonna run with that with or without you. So what do they do? They try to give themselves a reason to be special. So. What's a good way to make themselves feel special? Oh, we're anarchists. Oh, we're communists. Oh, we're socialists. Oh, we're social justice warriors. We're fighting against oppression and the white man, right? And so they give themselves these little platforms and these bad guys. They create their, their bad guys, right? Like a villain in a comic book here, a hero a fucking comic. And they just pretend like that villain exists. And they fight that villain. You know what I mean? Like right. racism. Yes, there's people around here that are still racist, like you and all those, Me? and all of racist, those, man. and I all of those, like and all of those, um, you know, racist organizations like the neo Nazis and the white nationalists and the white, the white supremacists and KKK. Those people exist, yes, but they're such a small minority. Most individuals, most people in the world, in this country specifically, are peaceful non-racist non-bigoted people period that's just the facts most people are not racist most people are not bigots most people are not sexist and so whenever you create these monsters okay the only way they exist is by you forcing it like there was a protest which there's not a whole lot of videos of but there was a a rally called the free speech rally right it was run by an indian hindu man okay most of the speakers were Indian. Most of the speakers were minorities. And there were only 50 of them. But Antifa and a bunch of other people went there and claimed that they were Nazis. And they went against, they, they were going against them because they were supposed to be Nazis. And we're talking about mostly minority people. They clearly were not Nazis, were not white supremacists. They were just regular people with, they, they, they respect free speech in America and wanted to continue to to support it but because they creating this monster and they need to con and to and to maintain this 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 facade that there's this monster this evil bigoted monster roaming around in this world they go up against people who are not monsters and who are demonstrably not 
monsters. They're just regular people who are not racist, who are not bigoted, not sexist. They're just out there Every defending time you free say speech. Not race is bullshit. Okay, whatever. We already Everybody's heard your racist. we already heard your your dumbass ideas. If you get a about black racism, guy starts fucking bitching and moaning at a white person that's not racist, starts calling them a white piece of trash, fucking piece of shit, and they keep on screaming at that person. Eventually, that white person is going to come out and say the word nigger. He's going to say the word nigger. You know why? Because no, people, I wouldn't. I the wouldn't. reaction of of how people react to another person makes the other person really come out what they really are. And it's what they really are is human. But intent Everybody's matters. Human, you know? Intent matters. And, and if, if, me, because, if me and Scooter... If like somebody, it doesn't mean... I mean, the word is racist because that's the word that they came up with for, look, for, for that. But the point intent is... Intent matters, is, old man. Intent matters. If I'm, if I'm hanging out with Scooter, okay? Scooter knows me. He's known me since I was a little kid. If I call him a nigger, he's going to laugh about it because he knows I'm fucking around with him. Okay, intent matters. If you run up to somebody and and call them a nigger, that's that's bad intent. Okay, especially if yeah, somebody you don't still, know. Is there a reason for you to come out and blur out the word nigger? What do you mean? Blur it out. Well, you just finished saying intent, right? In other words, they're they're getting this person so upset that at one point, boom, they're gonna slip and say nigger. Get the fuck away from me. No, I don't think that that would happen. You're saying that that would happen. I'm not saying that would happen. happen. That's what you believe. That's not what I believe. No, I know it will happen. God damn it's a known fly. fact it would happen. Little fucking flies flying everywhere in my you house. You didn't kill it? I can't <laughs> kill it. Oh, it's getting away. Oh, I got it this time on my damn pop filter. Shit. <laughs> oh, God. Damn it. I'm going to have to clean this thing now. Everybody on oh, the shit. Movement Podcast. This guy is fighting Was with that a loud? Was I'm that loud. loud when I hit that? <laughs> Was that loud when I hit that? Because I just hit the mic. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hearing all kinds of wiggling and sounds and nah, this mic podcast sounds, yeah. is gonna sound like shit, but whatever. <laughs> Cause I just smacked the shit out of my mic, killing that damn fly. I've been trying to kill that fly forever. Anyways, uh, I think you're full of shit. I don't think everybody's racist. I'm Actually, not racist. The fly so... thinks you're full of shit. That's why he's there bugging the shit out of you because you smell like shit. Take a bath once. Hey, this is a fruit fly, not a freaking, <laughs> not a shit fly. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Fruit flies different. They go after oh, fruit. Oh, so it's one of those annoying small ones, huh? Yeah, the memes. Those annoying right. ones. In Puerto Rico, there were so many of those fucking things. It was so annoying. Anyways, I don't think everybody's racist. You think everybody's racist. That's what we have to disagree on, okay? I think you want everybody to be racist, so then you're not no, racist. I don't think that so way mean, you're I not. Know. I thought you were a special snowflake, though. If everybody's racist, then you're not special no more. Hey, then you're just hey, on my mouth. I wanted to be special. You're just on my mouth behind the uh, a camera you, talking I'm not shit. Racist. I just say it how it is. That's all it is. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's how it is. That's all all black is. people are bad. All black women's pussies are are purple inside, like you oh, said. What was disgusting. it you said? That they're all purple. <laughs> that's what you said. They must look purple because it's black and pink mixed together with black makes purple. That's what you said. Oh god, I never said that. Don't <laughs> yeah, you words did. In your mouth. Yeah, you did. Not my words. You said your words. you might you might have said it joking around, but you definitely said that. Hey, never said I've that. seen I've seen plenty of black like women's pussies, and I'll tell you what, they're all pink. And you even said that purple is my favorite they're all color. Pink. Just a few minutes. ago. Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably why you made a joke about it. But in any case, let's switch gears here. Something crazy happened in uh, in Africa, your favorite place in the world, Africa, Sierra Leone. South Africa. South, South Africa is my favorite because there's nothing but whites there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure apartheid got destroyed already. Apartheid doesn't exist anymore down there. <laughs> so it's probably not your favorite spot anymore. But anyways, uh, Sierra Leone, a big... A uh, mudslide happened that killed 300. There's no real anybody talking, so I'm just gonna mute the sound. Uh, they witnessed the attempts to recover those. Look at that! Look at that damage, man. That's all from the mudslide. Look at that shit. So there was houses underneath all that shit. Yep. Look at that. Trying to recover people from underneath. Good luck with oh that. They're God. all dead. They're all dead. What? Is They're not talking, talking right here. There are people walking around everywhere. Can you hear them? Wearing the um, white overalls, face. People walking around everywhere wearing the um, white overalls. Oh, Tyvek suits. There's a lot of decay and decay and disease in that uh, site, and increasingly they're not hopeful that they will find any more whole bodies because it's raining, 
the, the weather, there's lack of visibility, it's very foggy. 300 dead from one mudslide. It really slide. is an intense time for this country and people are just mostly standing around in this area of shell shocked. They can't quite get over that this is happening again in, in a country that has suffered so much tragedy in such a short time with the war with Ebola and now Aren't they beautiful people? They're really just asking oh, yeah. why Syria and why now? Oh, they're Christian. Everywhere you go, there are tales of, de of death and, and devastation and hardly anyone in this country will have uh, will, will not be affected by this very very tragic event those are the only people that can complain about people being racism against them racist against them why yeah because over here in chicago or in the united states all these black people are always complaining about people being racist against them and slavery and all that shit and they didn't suffer all that shit but there's people in africa that are still going through that shit as we speak and those are the only ones that could actually complain about it not the ones that live here in the united states that are fucking living off of social security and public aid and everything they can get their hands on like i do no. <laughs> but you know what i mean right not the ones that are fucking complaining i don't know like is it because it doesn't, I'm make, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense considering that uh well, black people mostly live in Africa, so who's going to be racist against their own people? No, but when they come here, <clears throat> okay, you can see the difference with the black people when they come here because they're more respectful, and they don't talk like the people that the live people here. People from Africa, States. you mean? Yes, people from Africa. I met one once at, at Menards. He was so uh, generous and kind and respectful when he was speaking to me and he came from Africa we were talking and he was telling me where he was from and all that. This was a while back. I can't remember exactly where he told me where he was from, but you can tell he was from Africa because you can, you can hear the accent, you know, in, yeah. in his voice. Yeah. But when you, when you hear the kids today here in the United States, talk shit about all oh, we're Africans and you guys are racist and your slavery and this and that, and what you did to us motherfuckers. Nobody did shit to you, man. You had it fucking made here in the United States. Compared man, these are to... your ancestors that went through this shit. And this was fucking hundreds of years ago. You 100, know? 130 and almost now? 130 years ago. You know? And there's no more living. Want... There's nobody alive that has ever seen a slave in the United States. Exactly. Everyone's dead. So. Exactly. You're fighting with ghosts. That's what I like to exactly. tell people. Exactly. And they want to use that. They, they want to use the past to overcome the future uh, because of their race. They want it. Uh, no, they want, you mean they, they want to use the past okay, as an I, excuse I for the that future. Wrong, but what I'm trying to say is they want to. They're use using their past the as an excuse for their future is what you're saying. Exactly. That's the only thing we can agree on when it comes to that. I don't know. Why do you think that the guy from Africa was more respectful to you than you would say a black American? Uh, because they understand how life really is. How tough it and can be. They don't take life for granted, like like the people here in the United States. So you okay? think the people that were born here? You think they have the wrong mix of of privilege, the black people? Ex <laughs> yes. <coughs> yes. In a way they do, in a way they don't. But my pro my belief is to always why the black community has always had problems. Um, with violence and, and crime in their communities, which is, uh, when I say this, anybody who's watching and wants to be like, oh, the, the gamer is a fucking racist too. Look, here's the facts, okay? 80% <laughs> of violent crime is done by black people in the United States. Sorry, this per capita. That's not even per capita, that's the entirety. What do you mean? You should be able to hear me oh, fine. Oh, shit. Skype stopped working. Yeah, yeah it did stop working. You froze. Yep. What happened? I have no idea. Break on I'm your end? I'm logging back in. It's probably because you're using... Well, luckily, uh, I still have you... Your audio. So here, let me call you. Oh, you already called me. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. I'm back on, but I don't see nothing on Not, Skype. Hold on. Relax. Don't freak out. Continue what you were saying. 
you think they're privileged the people here in the united states the black people i forgot what we were talking about in general you were saying that the africans that come from africa are more respectful about the united states and the culture here than uh, no, but black we were people saying who live something here. else no that's what we were talking about you got lost you got to talk into your mic <laughs> I said we completely don't look got down, lost. Don't look down and start talking like that eh, because eh, it's not going to work. <laughs> it should <laughs> work. It's not because you're not talking into it. It's a microphone. You got to talk into it. <laughs> Stupid. Anyways, I think you're half right and you're half wrong. Okay. I think the main problem with the African American community is that the truth is yes, people are going to say I'm racist for saying this, but these are facts. These are statistics that come out of. All of the combined law enforcement agencies, both federal and statewide, that say that show that black people commit more offenses than white people do. And that's unfortunate. I know it sucks. You can come up with all the excuses you want, but that's a fact. Doesn't make me racist for saying that. Now, why? I think the reason it ha it's happened is because black people have this tendency to create an us versus them mentality when it comes to society okay you're an american okay if you grew up here you're an american you're not black you're not african you're from america you're american okay usa period if you don't want to identify with the guy who lives on the other side of the tracks who's white and is also an american you're going to create an us versus them mentality if you're going to say oh that guy has everything because of his skin color and i don't have anything because of my skin color and it has nothing to do with what i do and my personal responsibility, then you're creating an us versus them mentality. You're blaming somebody else for your own mistakes. Okay. Yes, the racism of the past can affect the, the present, but these 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 my minute differences are tiny. Okay. And 50 years ago, sure you had an argument. 60 years ago, sure you had an argument. Back in the day when the old man was growing up, when the grouch was growing up, sure you had an argument. But now we're 130 years past slavery. Okay. But the thing is you that have see, to... they're not the only ones that had slavery. Us Puerto Ricans and Mexicans, we were slaves as well. <clears throat> not in the same way. Oh, at least that's what you think. And not, uh, and not Puerto Ricans. Let's be honest. Okay, When it comes to mom doesn't like it when I say this. But we're Spaniards. We're not. We're not. We're not Taínos. Okay. We're not Taíno Puerto Ricans. We are fucking Spaniards. We did yeah, not. We weren't again, enslaved. We weren't ones, enslaved the at all. That live here. No, they're okay. not. You're right. They're not. Okay. But that doesn't so, mean. Why is it that they can do it, and now that I speak about Puerto Ricans and Mexicans, you tell me no? No, because it's different. How is it different? Because genetically, what, because I'm not black. No, because genetically they still hold uh, African ancestry. Yes, we don't. We're not really? Taino. Yeah, oh we're not. My God. Let me tell you something. Genetically, all the black people that live here are not black. You want to okay, do a test on that? You want to do a test? We can even make it. We can even put it on the podcast. I've we'll call up. Anything. We'll you call up. Look, listen. Get we'll, a blood test for her answers and all that shit. I bet you anything she's white. Hey, you pay for it. We'll do it. No, I don't have to pay for it. Do your own. You're the one that's want to find okay, out okay, if you're okay, black okay. or not. I don't need to find out if I'm black. Well, I know you're black. I was going to tell you. I was going to tell you. You go ahead, injection. You mean I inject? <laughs> but you what? Still, I'm man. the one who injects. What are you talking Her about? The juices go through your penis. <laughs> oh, God. <man. laughs> Anyways, um, you go man, ahead. You go ahead. I'll find it. Listen. That shit too. Yeah, I do. I eat it all day. What's your, what do you mean? Anyways. Fine, you'll get the DNA test. I'll I'll find the website. You pay for yours, and I'll see if I can get her to pay for hers. And you'll see that she'll have African ancestry, and you will have zero no, no. Taino she'll ancestry. Have, she'll have African ancestry, yeah. but she's gonna have white too. Maybe I bet you anything is Irish, English, maybe all kinds of shit. Maybe, but you're not gonna have any Puerto Rican, any Taino. Oh, you, I'm not Puerto Rican. I'm from Spain. Exactly, you're Hispania. That's my point. Well, I'm, that's I'm white for the Puerto Ricans. The Spaniards are white, <laughs> old man. They're not. They're not Puerto Rican. They went over. We went over there, man, and we raped and pillaged. That's what our people did. Okay, don't forget that shit. Okay, we're from Spain and from Italy. Like okay. I said, we're white. That's my point. That doesn't mean we're white. Yeah, it does. It still comes from a Hispanic. Our culture, our culture, the culture makes us not white. Our, our, 
our na- our people nationalities, from Spain but that's and it. From Italy is not white people. Yes, they are. Okay, they're white Europeans. They're from Europe, okay. dummy. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. The point is, <laughs> yes, it does. They come from a, a they're Spanish from culture. Spain. There's fr- Spaniards. There's Puerto Rican. That's that's white. That's a white cult- culture. They fought against the French and the, the British. Point is this. <laughs> We are not who we say we are. <laughs> Nobody is. The, the let's, let's all reflect. The Grouch thinks the Spaniards and Italians are not white. That they're not from from Europe. That they're not right next to France and England and and Germany. The places where whiteness is white. All of Europe is white, that's old just, man. That's just ground. All of but Europe at is one white. Time, Earth was one. Yeah, continent. we were all black at one time. We we're all black Africans. Okay. From Africa, we're great African why, apes. Why we, wait a minute, Almost wait a minute, sapiens, wait a minute. Hold sapiens. On one second. When the con- when the Earth was one continent. Oh no, humans didn't exist then. So in other words, humans other didn't words, exist then. We didn't have humans around. Black. Humans didn't exist back then. Because that's what they're saying that everybody's black. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with the with Pangea. You're talking about Pangea, but Pangea about didn't the exist. Bullshit they're coming up with now today. The Africans, the the Pangaea humans didn't exist when Pangaea was still around. Humans evolved when Af- when all the continents are the way they are right now. We evolved, and we evolved in Africa as an African ape. We have common ancestors with chimpanzees, and you believe that bonobos. That we actually, yes, came from apes. Yes, so you we evolved. We evolved from apes. Evolved from apes. You think that we evolved from apes? That it yes. wasn't like, let's say, like that movie. Let uh, me explain uh, something to you. Tomorrow. You don't. You don't understand. No, I don't believe that. Here, let me explain something to you. This is how it works. You have. You a, don't believe that we could have came from another. They planet? have a no. You have. We have. There's a possibility, sure, but I don't think so. Anyways, um, you Marie has a dog. Has a bunch of little puppies, right? No, dad. They didn't all die, did they? Well, two of them for sure. Two of them we don't know, and two are still alive. And I was playing with them, and I got it on Facebook. I was playing with them yesterday. Okay, so those are dogs. Okay, they're called they're called they're part of the genus called canine. Okay, you know what's also part of that genus called canine? Wolves, foxes. Okay, they're all still canines. Okay, dogs. That's because we named okay. them that way. No, they have. We named ge- them because they got four legs. No, because that's where they came it's from. Like the cats, you don't. You don't know how. Tigers, do you know how? Panthers. Do you know how humans? Do you know how humans created dogs? Because dogs don't exist in the wild. Do you know so how you we created a them? Cat can turn into a panther. No, that's not how evolution works. Can you that's shut up exactly and listen? Listen to me. Can you shut up and listen? I'm going to ask you a question. How did humans create dogs? Do you know? So we created them. Yes, we created them. It we bred God them. That made it. No, there's no such thing as a god. This is what happened. <laughs> this is what happened. This is what happened. What? This is what happened. Human, human, our human ancestors who were hunters and gatherers. Okay, we go, we create camps, right? We go out and hunt and kill deer and and mammoths and shit like that, right? We bring the bones, the the carcasses back. We butcher them. We cook and eat them, and we throw our scraps outside of the camp, garbage heap, right, of our trash. Well, the wolves, being opportunistic, they come up to try to eat off of the scraps that are left there, right? Now, some of those wolves, they come closer and closer to the camp, and they allow humans to feed them, and then they start be saying, hey, if I hang out around these people, they'll give me food, man. That's cool, right? And then, sooner that's or later, opinion. no, that's what scientists say happened. Scientists, and you believe yes. in scientists? Let me ask you a question. And then you once we took, let me finish talking. You're not letting me finish talking. Then once, you didn't let me finish my point. Then once... They found some of these wolves that were that could ha- deal with humans without being dangerous. They started bre- humans started breeding those dogs because we know how sex works. We know how babies are made, and this was back in the day. They knew how to do this, and that's how all these breeds of dogs exist. I called I call my mom's dog Macy, that little Chihuahua looking thing. I call it a freak of nature. Do you know why? Because if you took that dog, okay, and you put it in the wild, that dog would die. Because it, it can't exist in the wild. It doesn't exist in the wild, period. Okay? The same thing does goes with cats as well. Well, not cats. Cats are a little bit different. But So if I throw you in the wild, you I think could, you can exist? I think it could survive for a while. But you that's think because you won't die? but that's because I have my evolutionary advantage is right here. Humans evolutionary no, advantage is here. Die. No, I wouldn't. Do you know how to make a fire? 
I think you would die. Do you know how to make a now fire? I'm talking about you would die of hunger. What did I die of? Or, 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 or of cold. What do you think I'd die of then? I think an animal will kill your ass. Hell no. i kill an animal race. easy. You crazy? Yeah, I know how to make, I know how to make spears. Eat your ass like a freaking, <clears throat> I know how to. Like a freaking rotisserie pole. I know how to make spears. I know how to make a bow. Oh my god! And arrows. You're too fucking lazy to do anything, oh, man. Oh, whatever. Okay, sure. Okay. You I know what? You, if man. I had the money, man, I'd take us both out into the wilderness, man, and I'd I'd buy a spot, there, and we'll go out there. I bet you any money, we I'd get out, and you wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't. You're funny. You'll be crying. You'll again. come and I find me and be like, woods. "Son, son, woods. help me, help me. I'm starving. I'm hungry. Can I, I have some of your? Can I have some of your rabbit? You call with a snare? Couldn't eat a uh, ham and cheese sandwich. Because I couldn't eat a ham and cheese sandwich. <laughs> I fainted because your ass was making me wait for freaking ever weak. to have dinner because you wanted to go out with your girlfriend. No. You were like, no. wait until we I get to Kersey's house. Wait until we go to Kersey's house. No, that's bullshit. You and I, we ate bullshit. The same kind of food. Bullshit. And I didn't faint. Bullshit. That's bullshit. Anyways. So you're trying to tell me that I starved Anyways. you, but I didn't starve myself? We didn't eat all t We weren't hanging out every single day, old man. You had. You were always with me. So I had to go to school and you had to be at work. What are you exactly. talking about? So when you think I was eating <laughs> at work? Yeah. Bullshit. You it's called lunch. In school. What, it's called lunch. The school I had you in, they didn't give you lunch? There were times where I had to skip lunch. What did you used to eat over there? Rice and beans and meat and shit and milk and orange juice. <sighs> oh, God. Anyways, let's Am move I right on. Am I wrong? Let me finish my point. My point is, the is that is in, 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 humans work in the, the same. States, can the I finish? Can I? Can are I finish? The You're, the you same? love to derail the conversation. Let me freaking finish to what I was saying. Okay. Humans work the same way. Okay. We have a common ancestor with, with chimps and bonobos, okay? That that common ancestor has a common ancestor with with gorillas and 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 orang orangutans, okay? And it goes all the way down, okay? Humans are evolution from them, okay? Our evolutionary advantage is our brain, okay? The ability to create, the ability to destroy. That's a a a, a niche that we found that no other species found. And yet, so yes, we the proof is in the pudding because if you do a dna test on a bonobo and you do a dna test on a human bonobos have 98 percent of the same dna as humans do that's it that's all you need is proof that we're okay. part af that we're african apes that's and you need literally to know. have that proof or you just see that on youtube no on science you scientists not on youtube real scientists that do research papers Okay. DNA right, tests that we use. Table, but you think that they actually DNA tests, there? DNA tests that we use to prove people's innocence Lame. that we can use to prove whether or not that kid is Those yours that you that, when you knocked up that chick. Survive when, out there. Oh, oh, what does that mean? That doesn't mean anything. They, so how can't they write a paper of something they don't fucking really know? What do you? What does DNA have to do with that? What are you no, talking I'm about? about? Scientists in general. No, scientists. That's not how it works. What? Well, because they, they come oh man, they there's different type of scientists. There's biologists. There's 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 microbiologists. There's phlomologists. There's all different type of, of of scientists. Okay. So you're trying to tell me that the cat was involved by people? The cat was taken and and um Min it was and bred bred by humans to be to, for different traits. Okay, but from a bigger animal. Yes. Okay, so they grabbed two different type of cats and they bred made them. one little cat and they bred that them. They didn't have the same uh, instincts that their ancestors have as in killing. As in, yeah, hanging around humans. Most cats, cats are a bad example because so like, cats like are closest, you are still close. a video from somebody that raised a actual freaking tiger at home that didn't attack the person that fed them. Uh-huh but did attack people that walked into that same room and they didn't know the cat. What does that have to, what are you talking about? You never heard of that? that I don't know what's this, your, what's, was your was point? what's your that, point. That freaking, what's your point? What's your point? This girl that raised her own freaking tiger in her house. Uh -huh. And she had a boyfriend come over. Uh -huh. And when he went inside, she didn't tell him that the cat was there. And when she went, when he went inside, he fucking panicked, and the animal attacked him and, and bit him and ate him. 
<laughs> I don't think that that's a real case. It did happen. Ate it's him. Fact. He it ate him happen. alive. <laughs> well, I didn't completely kill, uh, ate the guy, but shit. Once he puts his fucking uh, teeth on it, what you call it? If you were to take, if you were to take that tiger, okay, that is a docile tiger towards that girl, and you took another docile tiger and you bred them together, that docility will advance, okay. And if you continue to do that trait, where you'll take a tiger that's less docile, that's more docile, and you breed them with another tiger that's docile, and you continue to do that, sooner or later that docility will will occur within the species. Oh. But it takes a long time of okay, breeding. Okay, it takes a long time. Listen yes. to what you say. It takes a long time. Yes. Humans have Hold existed on. for an estimated years? humans have existed humans and dogs together have existed for roughly a million years. A million years. That's the estimate. Okay, the humans first started domesticating dogs at least, at the very least, eight hundred thousand years ago. Okay, and you're trying to tell me that we have over a million scientists that freaking over a million scientists. They, I didn't give you a number. I didn't give you a many, number. How many race? How many um, <coughs> canines uh, species are they? Thousands. More than thousands. Okay. Who knows how many? Go point, ahead. What's point your point? Is this. You're saying that they <coughs> evolved them to make them, right? They they bred them into being docile so they can be serviceable dogs. Yes. Okay. So we're talking about so many different type of canines. Okay. Yes. A breed. Yes. So you're trying to tell me that we had thousands of scientists that did that to different kind of dogs so we can have so many damn breeds. Not scientists. You don't need to be a scientist to do that. All you have to do is get two dogs to fuck, which is not difficult. Exactly, but it's to, not to difficult. Get two big dogs to turn into a little chihuahua. It takes thousands of years, but it Come can be on. done. Yes, of course, of course, it can be done. Bullshit. Look at There's look at the minute. Look at miniature pinchers. Look at miniature pinchers, and then look at There's full grown guy. pinchers. You believe in God, don't you? Oh my God, no, I don't believe in the God. So you're racist. You just, you just don't understand how 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 biology works. You don't understand how biology works. That's hey, all. so what makes you more better not believing in God than not liking a black person? They're completely different things, and they're not how comparable. Is that um, because God you is a fake. God is a fake thing that doesn't exist. Person that everybody loves in the world. You have to believe that that person exists but in order to. The to question, man. You, you're not listening. So I'm asking words, your question. You not believing in God makes you more better than me not believing in black people. Does it make you more better? What are you talking about makes you more better? There's no such thing as a god. There's such thing as black people, dummy. That's the oh, difference. wait a minute. Why don't you say that to a priest? Why don't you say that? Fuck a priest. He's an idiot. Your grandmother? <laughs> oh, my God. I said that to my grandmother. I told her there's no such thing you know as a god. And she cried. What do you want me to say? Time. No, we're not bringing my grandmother on. We're going to put her on nope. a podcast, man. Nope. It's not going to happen. So she could put you straight. Nope. There's no such thing as God. I told her that she didn't like that. She cried. That's it. She doesn't. It's. I mean, my grandmother's from a different time. Okay, where God was necessary because you so had you maggots in your than, food. Than you were in the freaking dep in the depression. People. She went through the depression. You know, that shit that 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 makes you believe in God because your your life sucks. That's that's why people like her believe that stuff. So you believe that everybody that believes in God is because they need them. Yes. As yes. There's one guy who called it emotional porn. That's what it is. It's emotional porn. <laughs> it's porn for your emotion. Because think about it. Can you remember when you believed in God? Can you remember the last time you believed in God? I can because when I was a kid, my grandmother raised me as Pentecostal. And when I believed it, it felt good, you know, to think that there's somebody out there with all that's all powerful to protect you. And it felt good. But unfortunately, it's not true. It's not true. It's a, it's emotional porn. It makes you feel good in the inside, but it's not true. So, why do they involve in politics religion? They shouldn't. They shouldn't. But they do because a lot of people believe in God, unfortunately. And the thing is that if you don't believe in God and you want to be a politician, they they're gonna freaking attack you. Yeah. Literally, yeah. I don't think that you would, you would, you could be elected as a, an official for the United States if you believe in God. Probably, it's not. like that movie uh, Contact. Contact. They didn't want her to go through in that spaceship because they thought it was a spaceship, but it wasn't. 
because she didn't believe in God. I don't remember that movie. Honestly. You never saw that? Judy I, I re- I've seen it, but I don't remember all that much of it. I remember that she got the signal, and the signal turned out to be blueprints to build the machine, and then right. she went in the machine. That's all I really remember. And then it like exactly. took her to but another place. The first place. time that they built it, they put somebody else in it because she didn't believe in God. Where did that person go? That other person what actually died because somebody bombed the first the machine that they made oh yeah that's right yeah okay see i don't really remember it so he died and then the second time the guy that actually liked her that he was rich he was dying he was building another machine in china so the united states they have no saying in her not being in it and they sent her and it turns out that it was bullshit yep (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, it wasn't that it was bullshit. Supposedly it was uh it just all it did was like push her through in her mind into another world or something. No, no. Supposedly she went in through a wormhole. Yeah, but they didn't show and her. When disappear. She was gone for just a few seconds. She was actually gone for eighteen hours. She believed she was gone for eighteen hours. No, no, they got the recording that recorded eighteen hours of nothing. I don't remember that movie. I don't remember all it at all. Was uh, the snow? You know who wrote that? The... You know who wrote that movie? His name is Carl Sagan, and he was a astrobiologist. Astrophys- mm-hmm. He was astrophysicist. Sorry, so he was an actual scientist. And he wrote that. And we want to believe that there's other people besides us living in this universe. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, wouldn't that make you a? Uh, uh... Like not believe in God, but you believe in in space. I don't know. That's they they're mutually exclusive. You don't need to believe in God me, to believe in the question. aliens. You you, you do not that. need to believe in God to believe in aliens or vice are versa. Are you more like into the space shit that you are in religion? I, I like sci-fi, but that doesn't mean that I believe that aliens are here or that aliens made us or anything like that. I like Stargate. You know, I love Stargate. So so you think that we were made by freaky monkeys? made by monkeys we weren't made by monkeys dummy we evolved from them we evolved okay, from that's apes what I meant. That's we evolved what I meant. from apes evolved that's what I meant. That's what okay I meant. I evolved that, that's what through, through hundreds of thousands if not millions of years slow changes in our genetic material from monkey from apes african apes evolved us into having larger brains less skin being bipedal and having uh opposable thumbs okay there that's your answer? You don't like it? Too bad. God doesn't exist either. There's no Santa Claus. Easter Bunny's bullshit. Okay? And Barack Obama was an asshole. There's all your fantasies destroyed. Is it because he, you like him because he's black? No, I don't like him because he, he continued the NSA wiretappings, which is treason within U.S. federal law. That's why I don't like him. Okay. Same thing goes with Bush and Cheney. If you think I'm racist because he's black, I say say same thing about Bush and Cheney because they started it. Sense. I think they should all be put a hint. I think Bush, Cheney, I think Obama and his and, and Biden, they should all be put on scaffolds and hanged for treason for creating the what NSA wiretapping. No, Nixon didn't create the NSA wiretaps. What are no, you talking but about? A, no, what I'm saying, but he was a freaking. Uh, uh... Well, he was just a thief. That's all he was. Who gives a shit? A thief? I thought he. Uh, no, he was a thief. He he. I thought he was something else too. I'm no, he was a thief, else. and he was a. Uh, what was it? He was he was um, bribing people. That's all it was. Who gives a shit about that? I care about my rights. And when you're watching me fuck my girlfriend through my webcam, you're you're violating my rights. Okay. <laughs> so fuck Let's him. Continue here what you got here because we got ten minutes on the time clock. No, if we're going to watch we only got 10 minutes to watch this one. This is the cheerleader getting getting fucking abused so she can learn how to do the splits. Can't hear anything. Video showing East High School cheerleaders being forced into splits. What you are seeing has led to five Denver Public School employees to be put on leave, including East High School's principal, its cheerleading coach, and one of the school district's attorneys. Nine wants to know start asking about this video this week and investigative <coughs> reporter Marshall Zellinger found out the school has known for months and Kyle the superintendent just emailed it's not the showing the whole video he just it? found out the... four seconds 
It's hard for us to watch and listen to. We were given eight videos total with high school. To do elevated splits and be the fuck? into it. Allie Wakefield is one of three cheerleaders who spoke with Pussy. us with their moms <laughs> about what we see in the videos that she shot in practice. In I want to see the fucking full video, man, without the fucking... This it? This, this morning, Denver Public School, that video... Oh, it's the same fucking thing. Video showing East High School cheer I don't care about your news report. I just want to see the fucking video full without. That might be it. Here we go. This is Allie. She gave up. God damn it. I'm tired of these news reports, man. I just want to see the video on full, man. I know the video on full is there. I saw it. I think this is it. Oh, you already stretched out. What are you crying about? It hurts. Supposedly she she had ter torn ligaments. She had torn ligaments, supposedly. Oh, yeah? The ligaments within her leg were torn, supposed to be. That's the last that I had heard. And she had to go to the doctor and she has to go through physical therapy now. Because not, tore every, her not everybody could go through that. And then they're doing it so quick. Yep. They got to do it little quick. by little, you know? Yep. Not everything in one day. Yep. Pretty much what happened. See, let's just talk about this Floyd Mayweather fight. Let me mute that. I don't hear anything. Easy, oh, now I can hear. Illegal links to view the fight, yeah. Is that today or is it tomorrow? I think it's tomorrow. Oh, don't even say that, man. I want to see that fight. I think it's tomorrow, but it's on pay-per-view, so... So, I'll just put it on your credit card. I don't got any. Uh, Why? You fucked up your credit after I fixed it? Alright, that's it. Well, I Where guess there was at? no talking. Where are we at? No, there wasn't any talking, unfortunately, on that one. We're pretty much at an hour. So, any any closing thoughts? Yeah, why does my son talk so much shit? Because uh, you suck. And you're, you suck. You're part of the KKK, so. neo-Nazi, white supremacist, even though you ain't, you, you say you ain't white, you're Puerto Rican, but you are white because you're Spaniard, Puerto Rican. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm not Puerto Rican, I'm not Mexican, I'm not Indian. What are you? I'm not black, what I'm are not you? purple. What are you? I gotta say purple because you said that, you know, black women got purple pussy. <laughs> I didn't say that, you said that. <laughs> no, you said that oh, I said please. that. Yeah, you did say that. I did not say that. Yes, you did. You said it in joking, but you said it. Anyways. Oh, so I said a joke. Anyway, so any closing statements? No, that I know of. I mean, I had some shit on my bike where I forgot. It wasn't that important then. Alright, everybody, this has been Game of the Grouch Podcast, episode 29. We'll be back next Friday. Same Gamer time, same grump channel. We'll see you then. Peace out. Peace out.